Okay, here's another song where if you're transposing this song, functional harmony, and by that I mean just thinking strictly in terms of, you know, what key center I'm in and like the, and doing a 2-5-1 or some other common chord progression and thinking like in Roman numerals, the two chord, the five chord, the one chord. The Girl from Ipanema, the bridge, is just a place where, dom- where uh, thinking about functional harmony just sucks. It just... It's just way too complicated, and there's just such a much easier way to do it, and here it is. So we're in the key of, of F, and I'll, I'll do this bridge in a couple of different keys just to show you how easy it is. All right? So, uh, and the bridge is simply this. You, you're in F. All you do is go up a half a step. All right? You don't have to think about what key am I in now or something. You just go up a half step. Okay? There it is. All right, now think of that as your new home key for a second, all right? Maybe you can think of it as a one chord, all right? Maybe you're playing the blues in this key. Where does the blues go next? Up to the four chord, all right? But here I am on the one chord. I just go to the four chord, all right? G or G, F sharp or G flat, whatever you want to call it, up to B. If I'm thinking B, I think I'd call that F sharp. And I talked about this before. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about the cycle of fifths here, you want you you know you want to go F sharp to B, not G flat to B, because G flat to B doesn't seem like a fourth. F sharp to B seems like a fourth. So, if I did call it G flat, I'd go up to C flat. Let's call it F sharp. Uh, up to the four chord, and then right back down to the one chord, and it's a minor. Now you just have to remember that, and then the rest of it is easy. You just go down a major third to find the next chord. All right, which is D7. Then follow the cycle of fifths to G. Down another major third. Same kind of dominant chord. And then you get to a 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. If you can remember what key you're in, we were originally in F, so let's go to A minor. And there's the, uh, the six chord and the two chord and the five chord. Okay, so all you have to think about in the bridge is go up a half a step to start it off, go up a fourth, a dominant chord, kind of like the blues, back to the home key, but make it a minor, and then go down a uh, major third, follow the cycle of fifths for the next chord, down another major third, and then the three, six, two, five. And I think if you tried to use functional harmony there, you could do it, you know, you've got a couple different key centers there. But if you're in F and you're remembering the key center of say F sharp and I don't know what else, what else is in there. Um, and then you transpose it say to the key of B and then you've got to think of the new key B and the new key centers, which might be C and some other thing or whatever. You know, that's a lot to carry around in your brain at one time. It's much easier just to be someplace at the song and think about how to get to the next place, all right? So here we go. Girl from Ipanema in B, and I'll use the same kind of, uh, of uh, uh, and it's the motion of the bass note, right? How far it moves. Does it move up a fourth, down a fourth, and down a major third? All right, here we go. B, two chord minor two chord, five chord. All right, we do that again, and then we get to the bridge, so it's up a half step, all right, C, to the four chord of C, back to C, make it a minor. Now, do you remember where to go here? You go down a major third, all right? So I don't care if you call it G sharp or A flat, doesn't matter. All right, and you know cycle of fifths, where to go from there to there. All right. I, again, you go a major third down. Okay, and then it's a three, six, two, five, one. What key were we in? B. All right, so what's the three chord? All right, don't call it, don't call it E flat now. Call it, call it D sharp. Call that one G sharp. Right? Because that way, uh, 
that way, you know, you're following, you get used to this rhythm of, of the, uh, you get used to this rhythm of two five ones or three six two five ones. You know, it's E, A, D, G, C, or, you know, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, you know, D, G, C. All right. It's when you get to the international date line here that you have to I keep calling it that just as a joke. But, you know, when you get when you switch over from flats to sharps is when you run into trouble and you can train yourself to say, oh, this is a two five and that's the one. Um, but, you know, if you're in the key of B or E and this is this is why you don't run into many jazz songs in these keys, because it just gets confusing to think through a three, six, two, five, one in those keys, because you have to think G sharp and C sharp and F sharp. Because if you start thinking about a bunch of flats in the key of B, you'll get a little fouled up. Taking this step by step. So here, the next video is going to be, uh, what's it going to be? Oh, Stella by Starlight. Hey, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy new year and thank all my new subscribers for hitting that subscribe button. And uh, be sure to leave a comment or a question down there in the comment section. And uh, if it's something I think I can respond to effectively, I'll do it.